it's Daisy. Welcome back to my channel. Oops. Oops. Ha. This is Duskwood. She is a soulless vampire. And she's trying to get her soul back. And she's trying to help the people of Tamriel. Now, I don't even know what we're supposed to be doing right now. Uh, tracking the plague. That's what we're doing. Tracking the plague. <laughs> I haven't played in a while, as you can tell, because I don't remember when the controls. Hello, who are you? No screeching, spell-casting witch will best know a great hard helm. Oh, my head. Um, hello. Uh, my head. Where am I? What are you doing out here, and why aren't you wearing pants? No pants? Oh, let me think. I was escorting a witch to Narciss. She got frisky, but I'm a married man. After that, my memories get hazy. I think she cast a spell on me and took a valuable axe. It's been in my wife's family for generations. Sounds like you have a problem. My wife will kill me if I lost her axe. Oh, my head. Hey, you could find that screeching witch and get the axe back. I think we had a small camp nearby. I'll catch up to you after my head stops hurting. I'll try to find the witch and the axe. If I come back without that axe, Evigna will never forgive me. And her mother, she'll give me that look. What look? The one that says her daughter married a fool. <laughs> well, Norgrid Hardhelm is no fool. Um. A witch cast a spell. That's the only explanation for why that axe left my hands. Uh-huh. At least you still have your boots and helmet, I guess. Let's go talk to the witch. Maybe she can be, a uh, reason with. Mm. What do you want? Um, are you a witch? <laughs> Of course not. Let me guess. You met my drunken fool of a husband, Norgred. I'm sure he was remorseful, hungover, and making up stories. He said the witch took his axe and his pants. He lost the axe of Halmer Stormhand and tried to blame a witch? What he did was drink too much last night. He was bellowing about witches and plague husks when I came back with my herbs. Then he ran off half-dressed, waving the axe and yelling incoherently. I said I will find the axe. Any idea where I should look? I'd be grateful if you found it, too. Norgred probably dropped it near that house by the water where the plague husks have gathered. It's not that far. Just down the hill. Maybe you'll find his pants there while you're at it. <laughs> okay. Let's go find the axe. The Simeon Gorgeway Shire found. Oh, hello.
Paris, Tehran. I fear the plague has found me. I shall miss you, my love. Ida. Or, yeah, Ida. Or Ida. his pants. We found the man's pants. That's good. Oh, I am so doomed. I didn't find a witch, but I did meet your wife. My wife? What about the witch? Oh, gods. I need to get that axe back. Here's the axe. I found it in a house surrounded by plague husk. I think I remember fighting those husks. But thanks for finding the axe of Halmer Stormhand. I don't like it when Edvigna gets upset. She gets very loud. Speaking of loud, I think I heard your wife coming now. These don't look like my pants, but thank you for finding the axe. I wish I could find that witch and teach her not to tangle with Norgrid Hardhelm. Uh-huh. Ooh, we gotta watch this. There's my brave, pantsless warrior. Do you remember anything from last there night? There you are, my sweet. Uh, Briar Hart. I battled a witch last night. Was she frightened off by your nakedness? Put some pants on, you sot! <laughs> I don't know why I put up with them. I don't know either, babes. I think you could do better. <laughs> Also, I would hide all the, uh, all the alcohol. I don't think he needs to be drinking. <laughs> we're running, we're running. Why, hello, people. No one goes into the gorge. Got that? Do we say why the pass is closed? Tell them there's death in the pass. Leave it at that. Yes, yes Commander. Commander. Hi. Hi. Speak to Captain Drill if you need something. Narsa sent me to provide assistance. About damn time we got some help out here. We're outmatched. Captain Deeril will give you a little more insight into what's happening here. All right. Captain? If you're planning to use the pass to Mournhold, find another route. It's not safe. What's going on? The Morborn have overrun the trader's camp and occupied the pass. By the authority of House Hlalu, this area is closed. It's a death trap. What's your plan? We sent in some scouts to assess the situation, but they haven't returned. I don't want to march in there blindly, but we can't wait much longer. I'll locate your scouts and find out what's happening. This pass is too important to allow it to fall into the Mulborn's hands. What's so important about Ascidian Gorge? It's the primary trading route between Mornhold and the West. It's also home to a trader's camp. Every caravan that comes through this part of Deshan depends on that camp. Why have the Mobborn occupied the pass? Dad, I didn't mean to hit that. This pass is too important to allow it to fall into the Mulborn's hands. It's the primary trading. That's an excellent question. 
Harassing caravan seems to go against their usual method of operations, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. I mean, they do want to turn everybody into plague huffs. They're trying to make the plague stronger. Daryl sent me. What are the Mawborn planning? The alchemist who created the Lotus Plague. Murdendril. He's making it stronger. More potent. The Mawborn plan to smuggle it into Mournhold. Infect the whole city. There's no time. You need to stop them. How do I stop them? The Mawborn can't bring cargo through the city gates without official papers. They're carrying forged shipping manifests. If I steal those manifests, they won't be able to bring the plague into the city. Maybe. It's worth a try. Take out some of the Morburn down in the traitor's camp. Get those forged papers. Alrighty. And who are you, Mr. Linging about? Kothal's the name. I was working as a guard in the trading camp before the Morborn attacked. This elven scout was lucky I came along when I did. She was getting her arse handed to her. How did you survive? Did what I was taught to do. When outnumbered, I hide. Not the bravest move, but it kept the two of us alive. Listen, if you're going down there, I could use your help. I need some things from the camp. What kind of things? Things that are too important to fall into the hands of the Marlborn. They're in three locked chests, so you'll need to get the keys first. Where can I find the keys? Three of the merchants I worked for wore the keys on chains around their necks. They were the first to fall when the Marlborn attacked, but I don't think their bodies were searched very thoroughly. Why do you need these keys? What's in the chest? I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to say. All I can tell you is I swore to guard those chests with my life. That ought to give you some idea of their importance. All right. I don't like the Melbourne, so they're not getting whatever's in the chest. Sounds like a good plan. Okay. Just like the rules of the camp. Nothing too important. Ooh, a book. Do you know they don't have ghosts, apparently? And, uh, if they die away from the black mark, and away from the history, what happens to them? Because they can't return to the hiss if they're not by the history, right? I've always been curious about that. Like, what happens to them if they died somewhere? Oh, hello. <laughs>
gems? That doesn't seem very important. Strange relic, okay. That might be a little bit more concerning. Spread out! Heal me! I need a move! Very important. I mean, I guess to a a merchant is important, but is it like worth losing your life over? Not really. That was what I knew. Did you get the stuff from the locked chests? What was so important about these trinkets? Why should I care if Marborn got them? Um, yeah. Fact is, I kind of lied to you. Rude. Those merchants owed me weeks of back pay, and now they're dead. My family will starve without that money. Those trinkets you recovered may not seem like much, but they'll feed my family for a year. You should have told me the truth from the beginning. I could not risk it. I'm sorry I misled you, but I can't let my children go hungry. But I can't let my children go hungry. Fine, take the trinkets. Just make sure it goes to feed your family. I don't know what to say. Thank you. I'll find a way to make up for this. All right. I swear it. Good. Don't let me regret this, buddy. But I do have more important matters to handle than... The manifests. Did you get them? There they are. Good. This should buy us enough time to act. Act? What's the next step? I think most of them were Okay, I hate when I keep doing Find that. the miss uh, Find the missing scouts. Well, that gummit, I didn't hear what she said. That's the kind of the bad thing about online games, like once you do like the <laughs> You accidentally skip. It you can't redo really it. It's so annoying. Excuse me, oh. Those Nyx hounds won't take me. Won't make me into a husk. Bled myself with my own blade. No use to them now. That'll show them. Hang on, open your eyes. Come on now. I... What was I saying? Did Scout Marmin send you? I was glad she got away. The others, they're all gone. I've seen what the plague does to a body. I won't let it take me. But if the wards were destroyed... Wards? What wards? Arcane ward stones that make the Moorborn immune to the plague. A gift from someone called Vox. Sure would be a shame if those Aelids came down with their own plague. How about you smash those wards that are protecting them? Where are the other Halu scouts? I heard them crying out in the darkness. The plague's taken them. They've... turned. The wards. Concentrate on the wards. There are three of them. Smash them all. I'll do what I can. Those wards keep the Maulborn from getting infected by their plague. Smash them, and may the plague take them all. Where are these wards? Down into the cave. The same place they dragged the others. May the three watch over their souls now. Poor buddy, okay.
down to the Morgo. Two more to go. I don't know why I had such a hard time. Oh man, it's on this guy. May your soul rest in peace. Oh, yeah. Oh, our buddy. Hey. Good, you're still alive. Yep. Scout Marmin told us she sent you to this cave. Veron says he knows you from Narsis. He and his ally have offered their assistance. What do you need me to do? We have to proceed cautiously. I don't want any more of my soldiers getting infected. But the Moleborn have to be dealt with. For good. I destroyed the arcane wars, protected them from the plague. That might help. Ah, that changes things. We've spotted the plague ship and they planned for Mournhold. I want those crates destroyed, but I need my troops at a safe distance when it happens. Any ideas? Always. A cliff overlooks their loaded wagons, and I've got archers up there. Get to Nariu Virian. Tell her to have the archers shatter the crates from above. We'll see how the Moleborn like being exposed to their own plague. I'll protect the archers while they do their work. Good idea. Exactly what we need. On your way, then. That tunnel will take you to the top of the cliff. Okay. Hey, buddy. There's war, and then there's just slaughter. The Moorborn fight without honor. I don't expect we'll be taking any prisoners. It's good to see you again. I told you we'd be right behind you. I'm truly beginning to understand what Naryu sees in you. You certainly know how to get things done. Naryu? Where is she? Oh, she's out and about. Like you, she's out doing what she does best. Now, talk to the captain and let's get on with things. All right. It's nice to see you, buddy. <laughs> Hey, babes. Ready for a fight? Always. Once the archers start shooting, the Marlborn will swarm this overlook. Let me know when you're ready. Tell the archers to start shooting. Target the crates. Archers, to your positions. All right. While y'all doing that, I'll be kicking some Marlborn booty. Once the arrows start flying, they'll be on us in no time. All right. Here they come.
You've doomed us all. Prepare to die. <laughs> we did it! All right, back to the cave. Awesome, guys. Good job. Change of plans. Those crates the archers destroyed? The plague is spreading quicker than dragon's breath. Can't go that way. How is it spreading so quickly? Hey, I'm not an alchemist. I can only tell you what Veron told me. That stuff is potent. It spreads like wildfire. As soon as it touches skin, people transform into husks. Uh, Grody? What's the plan? I warned that fool Deeril not to go on ahead. If he's not a husk yet, he's probably a feast for one. That plague moves like lightning. Where did Deeril go? He took some troops to the southern side of the gorge. He's looking for the Maulborn leader, the Alchemist. I don't know if he made it that far or not. I'll find him. Get to safety. Don't need to tell us twice. We'll stay on high ground until the plague dissipates. If you find Deeril and he's turned, do what you have to. Understand? I'll take care of it. Yikes. I mean, obviously, I would, I would never let him suffer in such a way. But he's a fool for... Charging in without thinking about things. You good? Okay. Sorry, buddy. You're alive. By Aeum! You've run through a gauntlet of plague and death, yet you aren't sick. How? I'm not quite sure. We'll consider it a blessing of the Tribunal for now and leave it at that. The Molborn who haven't fallen to the plague are in retreat. We've just one final matter to attend to. What's that? We've got Medindral, the alchemist who created the Lodos Plague, cornered in these ruins. We need to capture him and find out how he did it. With you at our side, we can't fail. Then what are we waiting for? That's the spirit. We're right behind you. Remember, we have to find out how the plague was made. Then we can get to work on making a cure. Let's go. Okay. Let's do this. On your guard. We don't know what's up ahead. Look everywhere. Any clues we find may lead us to the cure. What did you find? What is that? That's the recipe for the Lodos Plague. We've done it! Awesome. Oh, crap, yeah. What's Wait. happening? What's happening? You re 
resist my plague? Let's try a stronger version. No! No, not that! Ah! Oh no. You didn't think it would be that easy, did you? I shall experiment upon your body. the recipes but we lost a lot of people to get the recipes but the alchemist is dead that's good I told you Veron our champion survives thanks for the you're full of surprises not that I doubted you thanks for your help ready to tell me who you really are yet you know, I think you earned the truth, but this is a pretty big secret I'm about to share. Are you sure you're up to the responsibility? I won't betray your trust. I know you won't. Come closer. This is for your ears only. Veron and I were part of the Morag Tong. What's that? You're kind of an innocent, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> Morag Tong? Organized crime? A league of assassins? We used to be part of the establishment, but we're kind of on the outs these days. Some of the house leaders still employ us, though. Oh, that moral tongue. Keep your voice down. <laughs> Just being associated with the Morag tongue can get me put to death. We're here on behalf of Mornhold, understand? Now well, get out of here. We'll meet again, I'm sure. With the death of the alchemist Merdindril, our contract is fulfilled. I'm not sure we could have accomplished it without you. No, y'all would definitely would have been turned into Plagos. Hey, you're the scout, right? What happened in there? Where's Dirul? He's gone, isn't he? We killed the plague creator, but Durell fell in the battle. He died valiantly, then. Did you learn anything in there that would help us? The alchemist's lab is inside the ruins. All his notes on the plague are there. Praise Vivek. With the notes, we can finally craft a cure. The Mulborn have fallen to their own plague. The merchants are already returning to their camp. What about the clouds of plague? The stuff in the crates was extremely potent, but also very short-lived. It came and went fast. And we haven't seen any more afflictions. But if this had reached Mournhold... That didn't happen. Still, we can't lower our defenses yet. This was just one piece of the Mulburn scheme. But for now, the Gorge and Mournhold are safe. Yes. Yes? What is it? What are you doing for me now? With the death of the alchemist Merdindril, our contract is fulfilled. I'm not sure we could have accomplished it without you. What will you two do now? On to our next assignment. We don't get a lot of downtime. We're always on the job, always watching. Are you heading to Mournhold now? Why would I go there? Someone has to tell Ordinator Kilau what happened here. You appear to be available for the job. I'm sure we'll run into each other again. Hopefully it won't be because your name's on a contract. If that ever happens, but you will die. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't wait. Awesome. Well, that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are in the world. Bye-bye, lovelies.